thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review the Disney Princess Ariel Little Mermaid gift set. Now, as you can see, it's got so many characters, Ursula, Vanessa, it's got Eric, Ariel, it's got a couple of outfits, it's got the pets, it's got everybody. So let's take a closer look at this big set. So this is the box for the Disney Princess Ariel, the Little Mermaid gift set. And as you can see, it's got Ariel, it's got Eric, it's got Vanessa, we've got Ursula, we've got Max the dog. And in the corner, I'm not sure if you can really see Scuttle and Flounder and Sebastian, but we'll take a closer look at them in just a second. I'm going to turn the box around and as you can see it is huge so that you can see the back of the box and it's a really really pretty picture of Ariel from the movie and of course you can see the castle and some other things from there so I'm going to see if I can get this open from the back and see if I can just Hopefully just open it easily this way. Hmm. Maybe turn this around. Woo! And yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to just, well, can I? I'm gonna try. And now we're back. The turns out the box was attached with a little latch that goes at the top. So just make sure that you take your time when opening the set. So back at this, this is absolutely wonderful. I'm seeing everyone I wanna see in this set except for maybe King Triton, but absolutely awesome. Sebastian looks absolutely cute. And so does Flounder. We've got Scuttle there, which he looks kind of crazy, but I guess he's supposed to look kind of crazy. <laughs> And of course, the two, two of the dresses that she wore in the movie, I believe she wore this one at the end of the movie. And I think she wore this when she was with Eric in the castle. Of course, we've got Ariel here. We also have some barrettes as well. And I'm just going to scroll down so that you can see. And I guess I said I'll do a 360, but I do want to see... And it looks like, yeah, we've got some legs inside of the fishtail. And of course, we've got Max here. And I can't wait to see if he has any kind of articulation. And of course, we've got Prince Eric. Very cute. And of course, Vanessa, one of the big reasons to get this set. And she's got her cloak on. Very cool. And of course, we've got Ursula the sea witch and look at her she looks delighted to be here so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove all of these dolls from the liner so that we can take closer looks at everything that comes with this set so this is a close-up of ursula from the disney princess ariel the little mermaid gift set and as you can see she is quite smug with herself and i Love it. You can also see that she's got these straps here that I guess are supposed to support the dress, which does not look like it's removable in the back. Now, I'm going to pull back so that you can see her, and I'll do a 360 of her. But as you can see, she does not have a lot of body here so that when you put her down, she's going to plop down really low and be lower than a lot of the other dolls. So you may want to get like a little box or something to put her on. I also want to show you her articulation. And as you can see, her arms move this way. They don't move, you know, out or anything like that. Just kind of up and down on both sides. And another feature I wanted to show you, of course, was the little seashell that she has from the film. And it's also on the doll. Let's do a 360 of Ursula. So as you can see, I put Ursula on a little box just so I could raise her up a little bit. You could also see how the tentacles lay and stretch out. And of course, I want you to see her in all of her glory, but let's go in on the close up. Look at her. I just love that smug look on her face. Just a hoot. 
and I'm loving the hair, of course. From behind, as you can see, the strap for her dress, the clear one is, is behind, goes behind her head and also the strap for the necklace as well. And I'll go in so that you can see the detail of the necklace. So I'm just gonna go down a little bit so that you can also see the detail in her tentacles as well. So as you can see, the netting kind of looks like the underside of the tentacles. Very cool. So years ago, Mattel did a version of Ursula called The Great Villains Collection, Ursula. And I wanted to just kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison. Obviously, the collector Ursula is a lot larger and a lot more detailed. Also comes with a display stand. And this is the one from this set. So obviously, if you're a big Ursula collector and you like to play with your toys, maybe the collector one might be the better version for you. But this is still a really good Ursula with this set. This is a close-up of Vanessa from the Disney Princess Ariel the Little Mermaid gift set. And as you can see, see, she looks just like Vanessa from the film. She's very cute, but she's got that little wicked eyebrow action going to let you know she is up to no good. So I'm going to pull back so that you can see the doll here. And she does have some articulation, as you can see, at the elbows, also at the wrist, which is very, very good in my uh, opinion when po trying to pose dolls and also I'm just going to lift up a little bit so we can see what kind of knees she has and it looks like she's got the are they click knees yeah they are click but they don't click like uh, you know they're not severe click it's like one two clicks that's pretty much it I want to go in just a little bit so that you can see the cloak that she's wearing and also the seashell let's see is this removable it looks like it's actually sewn on. So you may want to just kind of leave that on there um, if you want to just kind of keep the cape kind of closed that way. I'm going to pull back again to see kind of the hood on it. And it's very cool. Remember that dramatic scene in the film so that you can kind of recreate that with her right here, as you can see. Very cool. And for those of you who are curious to see what the dress looks like underneath without the cloak obscuring it, this is what it is. So it's got the two straps, and as you can see, it's got the little bodice and everything. So it's a very cute dress. So it turns out the cape is removable, although you cannot open it at the clasp. You actually can just kind of pull it over her head. It has enough pull and elastic on it so that you can do that safely. So it can be removed without damaging the cloak at all. Let's do a 360 of the very wicked Vanessa. So of course this doll does not come with a display stand. I just have her on one for my own collection. And I will say, I'm actually very surprised by the quality that I see here with the outfit. And I'm gonna go in so that you can see what I'm talking about. First, of course, is the super cute and wicked screening of Vanessa here. And you see her hair. Now her hair is a little bit of a cheaper fiber. It's not quite a saran. But very cute. Also, I do love the cloak. The cloak is actually very nicely made. And like I said, it does not open and close, but you can remove it by just putting it over the doll's head. Also, you can see, of course, the necklace there. And of course, the long flowing cape and a little peak of the dress beneath. I'm going to go over here because I want you to see some of the detail. Of course, the articulation and then, of course, the dress and the shell, of course. Very cool. And that's the 360 of Vanessa from the Disney Princess Ariel, the Little Mermaid gift set. This is a close-up of Prince Eric from the Disney Princess Ariel the Little Mermaid gift set. And as you can see, he looks just like he does in the film. Now, as you can see, his neck 
just moves this way. It does not move up or down or anything like that. So just side to side. Also, I'm going to pull back so that you can see his body. His articulation is different from the female dolls in the set. Now, he does, he does have the articulation at the elbows, which is great, but he does not have articulation on his wrists. Also, it looks like his outfit is all one piece. And I will do a 360 with him, but I did want to take a look just really quick at the articulation. I'm concerned, like not concerned, but I'm curious about the knees. And it looks like, oh, these boots come off very easily, it seems. So I'm just gonna remove this so we can see what kind of feet. So it looks like he has like the standard Ken feet. Um, also, what I like is he does have like little trunks on. So if you want to actually play with him and put him in the water and things like that, that you would be able to. And it looks like his knees are kind of the similar kind of click knees. They don't click all that much. Like I'm trying to make it so that he could sit and it's not really doing much. But I did want to show you his articulation. Very nice. Let's do a 360 of Prince Eric from the Disney Princess Ariel, the Little Mermaid gift set. So one of the first things I want to mention is that this doll does not come with a display stand. This is just one from my collection. His waist was a little bit thicker than the band that I have on the stand, so I kind of have to have him a little bit on the side. But let's go in and take a look course with the really cute screening on this doll. Of course he has plastic hair which I'm fine with with this doll. And we'll scroll down and you can see his outfit is kind of cheap but it does the job especially from the front. The back side's not so much <laughs> but when we get to the front it is as you can see a lot better. One of the things I wanted to mention again is that this is all one piece, the outfit. There's not a separate top and bottom, all one piece. And that's the 360 of Prince Eric from the Disney Princess Ariel Little Mermaid gift set. So this is a close-up of Ariel from the Disney Princess Ariel the Little Mermaid gift set. And as you can see, she is super cute. She's got that same look like she has from the film, and that bright red hair. Very pretty, and I'll just go in, in case you wanted to see a little bit of the detail. If you were wondering if she has the same face as Vanessa, I have Vanessa right here, and as you can see, they're very similar, but I see differences in the face sculpt. It, there are, to me, it looks like there's some differences. You can let me know what you think in the comments, but I don't think that they're the same. So I'm going to put Vanessa back down so that we can focus on Ariel. So I'm going to pull back so that you can see what she looks like in her mermaid, I guess, uh, outfit. And as you can see, she does have articulation at the elbows and at the wrists. Also, her hair is, needs a a little bit of a brushing. They did the set does not come with a brush, does not come with display stand. So you'll have to kind of do that on your own. I want to do it, but I don't want to mess up the curl too much. But I will you know, I'll try to straighten it up a little bit when we do our 360. But I do like for you to see what she looks like out of the box. Now I'm gonna pull in again so that you can see how the top comes on and off. And as you can see, it's got the Velcro in the back and it also has the clear plastic uh, straps at the top. Also, with the fin, this is also removable and there's no Velcro or anything in the back. So you would just pull it down and wow, she's got this. Now, I you don't really see green panties on a doll very much, but this is such a super cute color on her. Very cute. And as you can see, she's got the similar legs that supposed to kind of click a little bit. They click a, like one or two clicks, but not a lot. But she does have legs underneath so that when you try to put her into her costumes, then she'll be able to run around and all of that kind of stuff. Well, not literally run, but you know what I mean. Let's do a 360 of Ariel in her mermaid costume. 
This doll does not come with a display stand. I just have her on one from my personal collection. But look at how bright that red hair is. Now I will say it's not like a saran. It's something a little bit cheaper. And so I'm gonna go in so that you can see it, but I just love how bright it is. And it doesn't have some sort of gel or something in it. Oh, very, very pretty. But I did try to brush it and comb it the best I could without removing the curl, but it is still a little bit messy, unfortunately. That's how she came. She'll need some hair treatment, I think. And you can see, of course, that cute screening. And I'm going to go down so that we can see the top. I'm so glad that they did not skimp out and make the top really cheap, because you know how cheap they could have really made that top. Also, I think the skirt is actually very pretty, or the mermaid fin skirt. It's very, very pretty. Like I said, I do love this, and I do love that they included the straps to help keep the top on. And that's the first 360 of Ariel. Let's do a 360 of Ariel in her second outfit. I also want to mention that this outfit does come with a pair of shoes. It's just hard to see underneath the long dress. So this is Ariel in her second outfit. And it is very cute. And I will say the material is very cheap, but far away. You can't really see, I don't think, how cheap it really is. But it is super cute. And of course, it comes with that bow. It's actually a bow that you don't have to tie. It's actually attached to a band. So I'm going to go in so that you can see how she looks in the outfit. And you can see the little lace detail on the top. Of course, also the bow with the band. And the dress does fit kind of askew with her shoulders. So her shoulders do show. And again, like I said, it's very long. Kind of, ooh, look at the hole from the, ooh, ooh. Little cheap, but still very cute. And I'm so glad that they did include it with this set. Of course, I did want the rowboat outfit too, but I'll take this one. And that's the second 360 for Ariel. Here's Ariel in her third outfit. So again, we have her in another cheap dress, but I will say it's very cute and it does resemble, a, you know, the dress from the film. So in that regard, it's great. If you're looking for high quality, it's not it, but it does the job. So let's go in and you can see how pretty she looks in that. Doesn't she just look adorable? Now it does not come with shoes in this. Remember in that scene, she did not have shoes. So this outfit does not have a matching pair of shoes. But I do want you to see the detail in the dress. It's very pretty. Very pretty. And it has a Velcro opening in the back. And that's the 360 of Ariel in her third outfit from the film. Let's do a 360 of Max. So one of the things I want to mention about Max is that number one, he is not articulated. But number two, he's actually a very solid um, and heavy figure. So he's not going to just kind of blow away in the wind, which is great. I do want you to see that adorable face with the tongue out and all of that stuff. And again, he's not articulated, he's posed, but I think it's a really good pose that can be used in a lot of different photos. So I think this is a really cute figure to have in your collection. Just adorable. And that's the 360 of Max. Let's do a 360 of Sebastian. So Sebastian is ultra cute. He's also, again, a solid figure, so you don't have to worry about him kind of wobbling around or anything like that. He also can stand on his own, which is absolutely great. I'm just going to go in super close just because I can.
Look at him. Just adorable. And then, of course, you can see his little claws and his shell. Super cute. Let's do a 360 of Flounder. So as you can see, Flounder is super cute and looks pretty much like he does in the movie. He also, again, can kind of stand, quote unquote, stand on his own as well. Although it is at kind of a lean, but you can work with that. Let's go in super close. And look at that face. Oh, he's just so cute. Looks like he's got some sparkles from the dress on him, so I'll have to wipe him down. But look at that fin. Very cute. And that is our flounder. And of course we have Scuttle. One of the things I wanted to mention about Scuttle is that although I do have him standing on his own, he has a hard time staying that way. So I did put glue dots at the bottom of his feet just to keep him standing up on the turntable. So I want to go in. You can see that crazy look in his eye. Crazy. You can't believe Ariel trusted him either. <laughs> You can see, of course, the little webbed feet and the little feathers, the little tail feathers. And of course, the different coloration on his wing. And yeah, he is crazy looking, but super cute. Let's welcome our panel. First, we have fashion trendsetter and princess of Mattel, Millie Barbie. And of course, we have actress, model, singer, Alyssa Rodriguez. Before we speak to our panel, I just wanted to take one last look at the characters that come with this set all together. Very cute. This is so great. But let's find out what our panel thinks. Barbie, I'm gonna start with you and I see that you have a note already for me. And you say, Mattel could have done this better. Oh no, she didn't. So I see you have a note for us, and you say, I'd love it. <laughs> uh, Alyssa, I think that you made the right choice. All right, well, thank you, panel. So I think that this set is absolutely adorable. I wish that we had gotten King Triton in the set as well. But with that being said, with all the characters that you get in this set, this set is a lot of fun. And I say a must have collectible for those who love the Little Mermaid movie. If you liked this video, and I hope that you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, please make sure that you do that today. So you subscribe and that you hit the little notify bell, and then you'll get notified of when I come up with new videos just like this one. So thanks again for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.